So in this really quick video, we're going to go over the defenses down challenge within the Master Vault Disciple Raid. If you're unfamiliar with the challenge, I will talk about briefly, but if you want a more detailed description, check out this video that I made on the Legend version. So first off, the challenge itself, again, really briefly, is that every player can only shoot one knight in the entire encounter. That means you need to skip one knight and you need to rotate who is shooting in each room. The easiest way, of course, is to skip the second knight in the second room. The changes that you have within the master version is, first off, it's 1580, so if you're a lot lower than that, like, say, 10 below, you should not attempt this. If you're within 5, you should be okay, but again, it's going to be based on the skill of your fire team if you can do that at that light level. Being at level will be obviously the optimal thing to do. So, first off, they are taking glyph keepers are unstoppable, and the scorn are overload. So now you have both types of champions. The taken hobgoblins have void shields, and the scorn have solar. Grenades in this counter will one-shot you, so you need to be very careful and make sure you have the appropriate burn resistance mods and other protections you need to survive this encounter. There's obviously a few ways you can do this. You can actually script out this encounter and say, hey, the, these people are going to have these particular items in these rooms and they're going to go to this side and shoot these glyph keepers and use these sort of champion mods. You can do that. If you don't want to do that, then you're going to need to have people, everyone needs to have some form of overload and unstoppable in case you run into a situation where you're the only person who can stun the champion on that side. Again, Overload can be achieved through this season through Void Grenades using the Overload Seasonal Mod, so that will change the fact that you may not have to have an Overload weapon on, but you will have to make sure that you have your grenades up on a constant basis. What my fire team found to be the most successful is use the Void Glaive, and if you're on a Hunter, you can use this build that I have that will allow you to go invisible constantly, so that will allow you to survive longer. So we use the Void Glaive with Galahorn and then an SMG Auto in the Kinetic. It doesn't matter which one. Lucent Finisher is going to be incredibly important in this encounter because it will allow you to get ammo for your fire team constantly. And with Galahorn, that will come in handy. Also with Galahorn, I would make sure you have the Catalyst to do this because the Catalyst will allow you to have two in the chamber, which will allow you to burn down any champion that you might be a little under level and not be able to do it with one particular shot of Galahorn. If you're stuck on finishing the, the Catalyst, feel free to check out this video where I talk about the easiest way to get the Wolfpack rounds to complete that. Otherwise, do the encounter as normal. Just have to understand that you have to take down the champions quickly, and you may want to leave them up a little bit so you can do Lucent Finisher to get ammo for your fire team. Make sure, the other reason to do it really quickly is that the adds can very quickly overwhelm your fire team. So make sure you get the right combo of who's going left and who's going right. So my advice is, I don't think you have to script out everything. I do think ahead of time, you do need to figure out generally where people are going to take their relics, right? Because over time, People will get comfortable with doing it in specific rooms. So I do think you need to do some basic planning. However, with that, I still think you need to have overload and stop them all your fire team. And you need to make sure that you have enough people on whichever side you're going to be able to take the ads out, right? Because that's really the important thing. Clearing ads as quick as possible. If you use loose and Finisher, there's no reason to be shy about using Galahorn and other weapons to take out as many ads. Of course, the one thing to be careful of Galahorn is that when you have the relic, the relic that actually cleanses you, you know, the one from the Vault of Glass, make sure when people use that to call that out because if you're using Galahorn or Rocket Launcher during that same time period, that's obviously going to cause you to kill yourself. The other little tip is you don't necessarily have to have everyone Galahorn if you have one person with Galahorn with the Catalyst because then it gets everyone on the fire team Wolfpack rounds. If you do that, then what I would do in that case is I would just use a legendary Rocket Launcher and other weapons, other exotic weapons. You can use Striga or other things like that that could help you in this encounter. So again, that's the video. For the most part, it's very similar to the... If you can do the encounter without the challenge, then you can do the challenge. Because the challenge is basically boils down to skip the second knight in the second room and everyone has to kill a knight with the nut relic. That's the video, guys. If you like it, if you ever liked the video, subscribe to the channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.